Meet Kurt, a busy dad who's concerned about getting his family prepared for a disaster. And here's Jeff, a public safety official who's an expert on getting ready for the unexpected. Together they'll find ways to prepare that don't take a lot of time. It's a whole new world out here in the winter with the snow. Well, and in this back country with all the slopes and the snow that we see, it reminds me that we need to be prepared before we go out exploring. At a mountain resort, avalanche teams review mountain conditions. They set off explosives to start avalanches before crowds arrive. This keeps the resort area safer for their guests who might otherwise be caught in an avalanche. Avalanches are powerful. Most people caught in one suffer serious injury or die. It doesn't take much disturbance to trigger one. Snowshoeing, skiing, snowboarding, snowmobile riding, and even hiking in an avalanche prone area is potentially dangerous. Anybody going into the back country needs avalanche training before they head out. Hey, Craig. How you hey, doing? Hey, good, good. How you doing today? Great to see you. Good to see you. Let me introduce you to Kurt. Kurt, you Craig Kurt. Gordon with the Utah Avalanche Center. How you doing today? Doing well. What do you got going on here? Well, basically, Kurt, what I'm doing here is I'm looking and identifying the resistance within the snowpack. Something that's really going to be a big red flag for me is when I find very dense, heavy snow on top of weak, sugary snow. That's always going to be a red flag in the mountains. Right now, this snowpack, it looks bomber. So before even heading out into the backcountry, of course, I want to be armed with the recent avalanche advisory for the zone I plan to recreate in. I also want to take a basic avalanche awareness class. And at the very least, I want to wear and know how to use an avalanche beacon, a shovel, and a probe. But remember, if we've got to use that gear, that means the accidents happened we want to avoid an avalanche altogether. Tools aren't enough. You need to learn about how avalanches form, what kind of terrain is most prone to avalanches, and what danger signals point to a likely avalanche. The Utah Avalanche Center website provides information on where you can find training. It's also the place to go before setting out into the backcountry. You'll find information updated daily on areas where avalanches are expected. Before you head out to the backcountry in winter, make sure you get some avalanche training. Take 20 minutes to research a class where you'll learn what you need to know about ways to be safe on a wintertime backcountry adventure. I'll see you next time. Visit kbyutv.org to get your free 20 to Ready Emergency Preparedness Guide.